the point of this lesson is going to teach you how to create a project with multiple text entry boxes on one slide so that your learners can type in one and then type in another and what they typed previously will still be on the screen. Check out this preview. We'll go to the file menu, choose preview, choose project. I'm going to type my first name into the first text entry box that appears. I'll press enter which is the default keyboard shortcut. The next text entry box appears. I'll type my last name. And the cool thing about this is what I typed previously can still be edited. It's on the screen. I'm going to show you how I put this together. Let me close the preview. So the first thing I'm going to do is insert a blank slide. And on the blank slide I'm going to insert a text entry box. So insert standard objects text entry box. I'm going to move the text entry box up a little bit so you all can see it. Now I'm not going to validate my user input because in this instance I don't care what the learner types. They can type their name, they can type the city, the state, doesn't matter to me. Mickey Mouse is going to work fine. So on my general group I'm not going to validate. I'm going to scroll down in the action group. The important thing here is set the action to continue. After my learner types something, the presentation will continue to play based on my timeline. My keyboard shortcut is Enter, which is the default. From the Options group, I'm not going to select any of the options because I don't have any right or wrong answers. No button, no hint, no nothing, so that's good to go. And on my Transition group, set the transition to No Transition. The next big trick here in the Timing group, set the timing to show for the rest of the slide and I've got my text entry box appearing after zero seconds. It is worth noting, I'm going to go ahead and select the slide here, and I'm going to set the timing for the slide to four seconds. Got that. Now what I'm going to do is insert another text entry box. Insert, standard objects, text entry box. I'll move the second text entry box up here underneath the first one. Same settings as the first one. So from my general group, I'm not going to validate. From my options group, no options were selected. From the action group, I'm still continuing, although this one could be go to the next slide when the learner is done typing in this second box. If I want them to go to the next slide, a website, whatever, that's fine. I'll leave it set to continue. The big thing here now from the timing group display for the rest of the slide again and I want this text entry box to appear after the first one. So I'm going to change the appear after to two seconds. The transition is also no transition. So when I preview, and I'll preview from this slide, and I'll type this is and press enter, Awesome.